Let's bring in Jared Holtz of Oppenheimer. Jared, good to see you. Um, J&J, &J, you say it's got something for everyone and that it's different lines of businesses uh, will give you various reads into other companies. So what are you looking for? Hey, great to be here. Thanks, Melissa. Um, you know, J&J &J does have three core segments pharmaceuticals, med devices, and, and obviously they're spinning the consumer business at some point next year. Still don't know exactly when that's going to happen. But I think this is an important quarter for a couple of reasons. Obviously, I think in, in some part it dictates the way investors look at healthcare over the short term, at least, um, by way of growth and what's happening categorically with pharmaceuticals and devices. And I think of the, of the two segments that investors are focused on, um, the device and diagnostic business might be the most important this particular quarter, just given how much we've spoken about the recovery trade and procedure volume, medical utilization, broadly speaking. I think what they have to say about that, not only in the quarter, but their commentary around how April is doing and their forward-looking statements with respect to that are going to drive the sector. Jared, I'm curious if you have a sense of where the flows are coming from in terms of the relative outperformance of healthcare um, to the S&P 500. Is it simply people who are, who are not healthcare specialists who are looking for a defensive area to hide out? And so how does that play into how investors perceive this earnings season? Um, is it almost, I don't want to say less important, but maybe it's less important because relative to the rest of the market, it seems safer. Yeah, there are so many different variables at play here, um, to your point. I, I think when we look at what's been driving it. I think a lot of it has been um, just broader industry safety or a defensive trade that's being put on by investors that's lived in many areas of this sector. Pharmaceuticals and managed care come to mind, distributors as well. So there's probably been a, a first mover advantage in terms of generalists looking at healthcare, looking at large liquid healthcare as a safe haven. And that's probably attracted sector specialists to look at it um, in a more positive light as well, more as a reactionary endeavor. Um, so it's probably at this point a combination of both. Jared, I look at J Johnson & Johnson. I mean, it's 16 times next year's numbers. It does not get the multiple it deserves and does not get a big cap pharma multiple. It certainly doesn't get a medical device multiple. And if you want to throw consumer products, I mean, it's nowhere near what a Procter & Gamble. So I say 16 times is too cheap. What say you? I think that's probably right. I think what they have to do is kind of build out their pharma pipeline. I think investors would like to see the company um, diversify a little bit, potentially do some deals that give it, you know, longer term growth potential. Um, they've done a very good job of in licensing technology. They've done a pretty good job in M&A historically. So probably a little bit more of that. And then, you know, the device business in, in general, I think will start to trade better once the consumer business is jettisoned so that, you know, first half of next year, call it, because I think you're right. I think all three of those categories deserve higher multiples. They're doing what they can do to kind of inspire investor confidence. Um, getting rid of consumer, I think, is somewhat helpful. Um, m and I think, would be a, another kind of driving force that would get the stock higher. Um, and then on the procedure volume front in med medical devices, you know, something that spits out, you know, mid-single-digit growth for the company um, in that category, I think, would also be helpful and potentially, you know, get the multiple of that business higher, maybe in line with peers in the group. Karen, you have a question? Yeah, I do. You touched on, thanks for being on, first of all, you touched on the reopen trade. Can you tell me how far along we are in getting back to normal? Do you still think there's a lot of juice left in that trade, both for pharmaceuticals and devices? Well, it might actually be more for pharmaceuticals. You know, I, I took a look at this a couple of weeks ago, Karen, and when I looked at the medical device segment broadly, it looked like when you add up when you added up all of the revenue numbers for the, the vast majority of the sector, that they actually did pretty well in 2020 and 2021. Not, you know, obviously up to, you know, their potential. But I think a lot of the revenue that was lost in early 2020 due to the pandemic, much of that to me, was probably made back over the past 18 months. So there's probably some left, but I don't think there's a tremendous amount of juice left the way that we talk about a recovery trade for, say, the hotels or the airlines or casinos or some of the other travel and leisure segments um, that are compared to medical devices from a recovery standpoint. And I think pharma probably has not gotten enough credit. So maybe there's a little bit of a reconciliation, and maybe that's why the sectors are traded like they have so far this year. Jared, thank you. Good to see you.
You bet. Thank you. Jared Holtz of Oppenheimer. Julia, where do you stand on, on health care? I think healthcare is an interesting sector for us, especially for me as a small and mid cap uh, portfolio manager. I don't have a lot of access to these larger pharmaceutical companies that have the durable business models that I like. So I look more at distributors, companies like an Alonco and the veterinary side. Those are the types of businesses that I really like. And I think generally speaking, healthcare, I agree that healthcare is really a space where generalists are coming and, and hiding out because. Clearly, the even quality tech names have really taken it on the chin. So I think it makes sense to be looking at healthcare quite seriously.